bit rough. It's gonna be a quick short video today well hope uh, hopefully uh, it's gonna be short we're just gonna be uh, doing a simple comparison of uh, X-Plane 11.5 version it's beta 6 came out yesterday we're just gonna be comparing OpenGL versus uh, the Vulkan uh, render so at the moment uh, first things first we're in uh, all complete default uh, X plane only plugins that are uh, we have fly with Lua, but we just have the uh, X the realistic pro, and uh, there's no other scripts. Happy tab for the Zebo mod, which we'll be testing in today. And uh, I think there's nothing else. The side tech panels is uh, at the moment not actually working, so um, go ahead to our settings here graphics these are our visual settings is high textual quality maximum we have the anti-lacing at 2x super sampling and the fxa for jagged lines we're running at a 4k resolution all right so the only thing with obs it'll be down uh, scaling to 1080p so you guys won't see the uh, same quality that i'm seeing more world objects set to high reflection detail with minimal because there's really no huge difference in visual quality uh, between these settings and it really just eats up your uh, FPS so I have it to uh, minimal as you can say uh, the Vulcan uh, checkbox is checked so we're currently in Vulcan right now so we should have better frames and smoother experience overall compared to OpenGL, but we're going to do a simple experience uh, comparison, uh, or rather. So, uh, simple thing we're going to do is just take off here. We're at uh, Madrid Airport, complete default, everything, no ortho for XP or anything like that. Uh, so we're going to head uh, just simple. We're not going to follow any real life procedures. If you would like to see any tutorials for the Zebo mod for the 737, how to how to install it, how to use the uh, CDU, or any kind of tutorial, just let me know in the comments uh, below, and I'll go ahead and do that for you guys. So yeah, we're gonna do this in Vulkan first, and then OpenGL will compare the FPS that we're getting and just the overall smoothness of the uh, flight sim. Uh, once again, everything is default. It's uh, vanilla, I explained. Uh, so uh, there shouldn't be any conflicts. If you guys want me to make another comparison, but with more add-ons, ortho for XP or a different location like uh, London Heathrow or something like that. Usually the Madrid area is pretty demanding, so it's a good area to test. Uh, we're on runway 36 left. We're getting about 51, 52 frames per second. And for me, it's pretty smooth. <laughs> Uh, I'm still playing around with the OBS settings. It's not as smooth, and the image's quality is not as good as I would like it to be, but uh, I'm still figuring out things to get it best uh, performance possible. So we'll go ahead. We got Flaps 5 set uh, for speed. Uh, like I said, it's not a serious flying video, so we're just going to rotate about 145. Uh, trims in the green, so we're fine there. And we'll go ahead, take off the parking brake. Put our flight directors on. And I think we should be good around 5,000 feet. Put a set our auto throttle. And we'll go ahead and set 40%. And one. Okay, stabilize. Set the toga. Uh, let's 
small correction there. A slight tailwind, so. Weather settings are set to uh, are set to uh, real weather. So, like I said, uh, compared with uh, OpenGL, we'll have it set to real weather as well, and there won't be a huge difference in the weather settings. Let's set LNAV here. I want to follow the magenta line. Set autopilot. A little change should be fine. I right, set so flaps two here. So in the air, we're still sitting about 52, 53 frames per second. We'll go ahead and outside view here. Sitting about 60, 61 frames. So far, so good. Definitely smoother. It, it, that's the overall uh, message I'm getting here. I set flaps up all the way. So yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up this uh, part of the video. Uh, we'll come back in the landing and then we'll test out uh, OpenGL. Flaps 30 should be good enough. So at the moment we're at 19, not crosswind. FPS on final are 45. Oh, let's listen to that. So we'll see what kind of landing we can uh, pull off here. 18 knots at the moment. We're a bit low, obviously. We're low and fast. Okay, 18 knot crosswind. Just doing this visually at the moment. We're obviously till still uh low 100 50 40 30 go set idle Let's push back slightly and uh, not bad a little rough but All right, we're sitting at 49 frames Not setting any reversers or anything, we're just doing a simple manual brakes. And we'll stop here right in the middle of the runway. Okay, 52 frames per second. Overall, the whole thing felt pretty, well, extremely smooth compared to what I'm used to. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of X-Plane, restart it with uh, OpenGL, and I'll see you back then. Okay, welcome back guys. We're uh, now also once again on runway 36 left, same weather settings. Um, what else here? We're gonna go ahead and set flaps five. Once again, it's not gonna be a serious 
departure. Uh, we're not following real life procedures here. We're gonna go back to settings. Graphics. Okay, we're not using Vulkan anymore. We're in OpenGL. Same settings. Okay, visual effects are not high. Overworld objects high. Uh, textual quality max. Reflection on minimal. And same anti aliasing. So, and we're still on resolution 4K. Downscale with OBS, you'll, uh, you'll be seeing it in 1080p. We're Let's running see. at, interesting enough, 50 frames per second still. And it still feels pretty smooth to me. Uh, once again, on the description below, I'm going to put my. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we're sitting at 30 frames per second. That was weird. I feel a bit less. He's jumping up and down. Oh, we're at 50 frames. Huh. Okay. Well, enter. Anyways, in the description down below, I'm going to put my PC specs. Um, setting 40%. Stable, setting toga. Maintain the center line. Your speed's alive. Check. I'll right, go ahead and rotate here. Right, gear up. Flaps one. We're extremely light because we barely have fuel, so I have to do this quick. Flaps up. Uh, we're sitting at 50 frames. 46, 44, 31. So what I know is there's larger variation in uh, I said autopilot here. I said LNAV. Yeah, so from what I can tell, there's a larger variation in the frames per second. Usually there should be more stutters. Uh, sitting at 50 frames per second. So right at, at this moment, my computer... Yeah, maybe we're lower on FPS outside. See, it's really strange. Here... 30 frames per second, 50 frames per second, 60, 70. I know it depends a lot what the screen's rendering in the moment, but I feel like there's a larger variation in frames per second. It's less stable than OpenGL. Sitting at 30 frames. Again, I'd, I might like to test this uh, in another video with, you know, a bunch of add-ons, and see if there is a, a even larger difference. Uh, we're still a bit low now. Seventeen on a crosswind at the moment. 50, 40, 30, Cut the 40, throttle back. Alright, try to that oh, rough. But I don't know what happened there with auto throttles. Turn that off and we'll stop here in the middle of the runway. About the same area that we stopped before. Alright. Still seeing about 30 frames per second. <laughs>